welcome back to another Bobby Guy Films. And today we will be not only reviewing, but I'm going to tell you guys how to use these bad boys correctly. Now, yes, there's a wrong way and right way to using these, and if you don't use them right, you will think they just suck. Got a lot of, well, actually I got the, the idea to do this video from one of you guys. Thank you very much. You know who you are. But real quick, I have a question to ask you guys. I have an idea for some videos, and a lot of you guys know that we use a enclosed trailer to haul all of our hunting stuff, all of our decoys, all of our blinds, all everything we wear to everything we use in the field, we haul in trailers. We have two trailers, one being a big one and one being a small duck doy, duck, duck, doy, doy, duck decoy trailer. Now, I'm going to do some blind reviews and stuff like that, but I want you guys to tell me down below, would you guys be interested in seeing me, you know, kind of showcasing, showing you guys the inside of our trailer. I'm sure it's a wreck from last year. So there might be some interesting uh, finds in this thing. So guys, let me know if you're interested in seeing that content. I'm sure I can come up with a bunch of different ideas. So let me know down below. So enough of that. I really appreciate all you guys commenting down below. You know, just like on this trailer deal, it's a big idea that I have. I have a bunch of ideas. You guys let me know gives me a ton of help. So thank you very much. Now let's move on to what this video is about. The review. These bad boys are really good if you use them correctly. Now what I mean is these have to be charged after every hunt. What I do is the day before I go hunting, I throw them on the charger overnight and a full night's charge does them well. Now that being said, the charging port is in the back of both of them. Uh, you plug them into your 110 outlet and they shall charge. It'll give you a green light when they are fully charged as well as on the back of them i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this but this is a little watertight deal they're supposed to be waterproof i haven't wanted to try them because if you guys have looked they're a hundred and some bucks but there is also a little i don't know if i can get it a little switch it's an on off switch so i just turned it on and there's the red light that came on there it's flashing so it tells me that they're on and ready to be turned on by the remote. So both of these come with one remote that operates them both. It's got a low, medium, high setting. And uh, I'm having a little trouble finding mine. Actually, I might know where it is. Hold on a bit. Nope, can't find the remote. So that's always great news. Uh, I don't know if I can buy another one or not, but I think it might be in our bedroom and I'm not about to go wake the wife up. She needs to get that beauty rest, if you know what I'm saying. Not saying you're ugly, babe, by no means. That booty, whoo, oh boy. So she's gonna kill me for that. I will be, if you don't if you don't see the channel up and going for you know a couple weeks, uh, call me in so you can get a search party and find me. But like I was saying, I don't have the remote. It has a high, low, and medium button, low, medium, and high button uh, to choose your preference on the type of heat that you're wanting. But here's the plugins that plug into both with the wall charger. Now, to finish the review side of this, to finish the review side of this, these are great if you learn how to use them. So, charging overnight and then in the field use. Now, these are large, they have extra large, they have mediums and small. I wear about a twi, a twi I wear about a size uh, 12, 12 and a half shoe. So I got the largest. I kind of wish I would have got the extra largest for a size 12 to 13 shoe. So I recommend if you are a size 12, go ahead and get the extra larges. Uh, they are a trim to fit. You can trim these if they're too big, but lo and behold, mine are just a hair too small, but they still work really, really well. So the review side, great product. Learn how to use it, and here's how. Proper usage of these things, guys. These are not an insole that you just turn on and leave on when your feet are warm. That's not what these are made for. You turn the backs on when you want to use them, so you turn them on. When you want to actually engage the heat, that's when you use a remote and you select the level of heat that you're wanting to apply to them tootsies. Like I said, these are not insoles that you turn on and leave on. That is where people get the misinterpretation of these being junk because they'll go out in the field before their feet are even cold, they'll just turn them on and be like, oh, I just want my feet to stay warm, you know? 
and they'll do that and they'll be run dead before you know but your feet will end up sweating for one thing and then they'll get cold by the time they run dead and now you go try to use them again and your feet are dead cold and they're not going to work because they're dead so first off you'll find once using these a lot get to the field don't turn them on turn the heels on but don't turn your remote on when you put on your boots when you put these when you leave the house put these in your boots for waders and turn the heels on so that way you ain't gotta take your boots off and turn the heels off you just turn them on and then you can use the remote later to turn them on when your feet's cold so you get to the field you get your spread set whatever you're hunting for and uh, about an hour 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 or two in you're sitting and you're like oh man my okay that's where your feet start really you can feel the numbness kick in you're like oh they're about to start hurting at that moment turn them on you know go ahead and turn them on high whatever you want but this is how you use them guys once you turn them on right when you feel heat like you feel heat touching your feet so you have you know numb feet and you're like oh I feel something turn them off immediately turn them off if you do this you're gonna get two to three good uses like that good uses that are warm your feet back up in that you know let's say a six hour morning eight hour morning no they don't last 24 hours or anything like that you kind of have to baby them but if you do they work great so get the initial just warm feeling kill them because that Whatever this is made out of, I don't know. I'm not gonna read all this. I probably ought to, but uh, I didn't even give their material. Patent pending, so whatever. Whatever this is made out of contains heat extremely well. So once a little get bit gets built up to where you can actually feel it, these things are gonna stay warm for over an hour. A lot of times you're gonna find that it's not even cold enough outside and you don't even have to turn them on. These, whatever they're made out of, like I said, will stay warm just from your body heat off your feet pretty well. There's hard, you know, very few times when it's been down in the single digits I've had to turn these things on. Not very often, but if you use these tactics and you use them like I'm telling you, you'll love the product. Ha ha, look at that. I was like, man, I think it's in my truck. Went to the old Dodge Cummins and found the old remote. Thank God, because those are expensive. Also, if you wanna see a weird encounter with a dove that just happened on the way out of the shop, stick around to the very end of the video and I will throw that in there. Wow. So real quick, here is the remote. You can see as it says high, medium, and then no heat. So it has a high, medium, no heat, and then it has this little LED that when they are operating and they are on, it will be lit. So, pretty lit I just found this thing, huh? Lit. So why it doesn't have a low, I just thought about this, it says no heat because like I told you earlier, you turn these on, you turn the switches on in each sole before you put them in, so they're on. So the, the no heat option is saying, hey, those are still on, but we're not gonna operate them. High, medium, no heat. Wow, so I think I beat these to death enough uh, to explain to you guys how great they are, you know, if you operate them right. But like I, like I just taught you guys, learn to operate these things, charge them overnight before you go, turn them off when they get warm. You will love these things. Real quick, I want you guys to drop your comments down below and let me know if you're interested in the decoy trailer. We'll do some what's in the blind bags. Hell, we got like eight lay down blinds to empty out and see what's in them. We got all of our full bodies, all of our snow geese, all of our our silo socks, white rock, everything, all, all, all the junk in there. I'm sure it's a mess. So let me know if you guys wanna see that. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Go check out all the how to's and other Foul Fridays. I know this isn't a Foul Friday, but go check out the playlist Foul Fridays to find all types of more how to's and whatnots for waterfowl duck goose related. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, come on back. Thank you. Peace. Oh. I have a feeling dove season is gonna be crazy here in Kansas.